Hey guys, I'm here with Tim from Mo Bang for Your Buck, and today he's going to tell us a little bit about his 2008 Toyota Sienna semi-build minivan camper. I always do stealth camping. That's why I chose this minivan. I don't mind paying, but I prefer free. <laughs> Hi, my name's Tim. I'm retired uh, in 2019, so I built my little minivan camper and traveled the whole country. I immigrated to the United States in 1979 as a boat refugee, and then in 1989, I joined the Air Force, and I've been serving for 30 years, and I retired from the Air Force. And I also, at the same time, I uh, worked as a civil servant for the federal employees, so I also retired from that. I married, I have two children, and they're all grown men now, so it's time for me to enjoy my time and travel. I have a 2008 Toyota Sienna, which I converted into a minivan camper, so I can travel on the cheap. The console that I built on top is for storage and resting your hand on it, but under it is where I store my house there. It's normally, I don't leave it in a vehicle if I'm not camping for a long time, but this is how I hook them up and take them out easily. Somebody sent it to somebody else's and and he revealed it and he he sold it to me for a hundred bucks so right here is where i monitor everything from temperature to carbon monoxide the how much voltage uh how much uh amp hour i have left in the bed the house battery that that house under here and this is an inverter that hook it up to the battery so i can get 120 volt if i need to to keep my food cold and not go bad i have a bubble fridge i actually use this as a freezer because i have ice pack that i keep swapping out for my cooler on the left over there for the curtain i bought one of those cheap curtain rods from walmart i think it's two dollars i just beat it down with a hammer flat and then bend it with a flyer and then slide right into these because these i have back in there i don't want to permanently fix it so in case it have to go, it, have, it can go. This is my uh, pantry on the go. Of course, I do part-time, so I don't leave my food in here. So all I have to do is grab the milk crate and go. And this is my whole kitchen. Whatever I need for cooking is in, in this. Do you have any issues with these things uh, flying around or shifting around while you're transporting? Well, when this bag coming down, it's pretty much west right here. There's no way it's going in. So normally uh, this bed will be set up uh, to be permanent, but uh, it, it can be fold up. So that way, if I have a seat over here, I can fold down and carry passenger. To set this up, I have made this piece go here. So the lift up will come out. Then the lift come in. This is how it all together with a pin. I have four pins that will hold it permanent. Then this will come down. That's my permanent bed. And I can reduce it, keep it like this all the time. So your mattress is that a foam? Foam, a hard foam and a solid foam. Of course, under here is where the fridge hides. I can pull it out from where I'm sitting in my lounging chair there, get whatever I need and then sew it right back in. Tim, do you sleep with your head on this side of the bed, not by the wall? Because if you sleep on the street and if a car rear and you, you don't want your head to be that. Your big. feet will be the first thing yep. that crumple. Yep. Do you have any plans in the future of doing a uh, shelving or no nope. kitchen? I'm, I'm keeping it simple. This works good enough, right? More than enough. It took me two years to perfect what I want. And if you want to change anything, you can just slide this stuff it's, out. That's the whole thing. Slide something else in. Nothing permanent built, so it's easy to change. I have a solar panel, but you don't see on the roof. It's actually right here. Oh wow, and that's a, is it a hundred watt? Yeah, it's a hundred watt solar panel, which I can mount on top of the roof, the roof rack, or I can move it around so I can get the most sun from it. So unlike my solar panel that's mounted permanently on the roof of my van, with this setup, he doesn't have to hang out in the sun all day if he wants to charge his batteries. I hang out in the sun, I get hot, I try to do stuff outside of the van, but with this, you can be in the shade, mm -hmm. Yep. and get plenty of power in your sun at the That's same the time. Whole plan. If you have a uh, movable, you can't go anywhere. So it's brighter, mount it on the top and go somewhere when you're not in the vehicle. Behind here is actually a folding bike. <laughs> I made it to the point I always have a folding bike because I don't want to walk. And I keep all my clothes in this bag. Pretty much good for seven days of clothing in here. And under here, I actually have uh, camping material stuff like steak and rope and all that stuff in this. So it's easy to access right away. As soon as you get to the camp. And I have a, actually a, a tent and a cot store under here. Right now, it's 
is not there because I love somebody else at the campground. This is actually gonna go all over this lift gate and create a little tent in the screen room back here if I want to. And I saw something in here, so don't let Tim fool you. He's uh, he's ah. got something. <laughs> Tim's a party animal. <laughs> <laughs> So the solar panel, that's actually, now that I'm looking at it closer, that's actually like a dedicated slot that you yes. made for that. Oh, that's very interesting. <laughs> you will not find anything pre-built for this. That's definitely the most unique solar panel storage that I've ever seen. Cause I usually, if I have it in the van, I'll have a folder or I have the one on the, the roof of the van right there. Tell me about your uh, rear privacy curtain. This is actually from Walmart. You can buy these little snap. I just drill hole wherever I need it and then just snap it. If I'm parked somewhere, I, I want open air, still have a little privacy with it down there. Also, when I'm driving and a little setup, you need to see the rear, you just pop off this top one and it will open up and you can see the rear, just enough. If you already set it up like this and you go drive down and drive the road, all you have to do is snap all these out and then you have enough room to see through your rear view. So this is a kit to make that snap for that curtain back there. So they just screw in, yep. they would even do like little sheet metal screws almost. And this is to smash this down, so to get everything you need to do. Tell me about Tim the chef. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm famous for making egg roll on campsite. And it's no, nobody can copy it because it's my, my, my mom recipe. And I kind of put a little, you know, finesse to it. So everywhere I go, everyone me to make egg roll. <laughs> This is double insulated. This is uh, plastic cardboard and reflective. So it's stiff. You know how these are always kind of soft and fall out? This will never fall out. My previous version of making window covering is using the reflectix and plastic coat. This is very expensive, like $15 can for two. So that's why I didn't go this way. Tim, so how long have you been doing this for? Ever since I retired since 2019. And by the way, I already see all 48 state capital. Have you ever been asked to move? Once. Because I I was I couldn't find a rest stop before it get too dark and I got sleepy. So I went to a little strip mall and I got a, a knock. <laughs> he'll, he'll say, are you okay when I came out? So yeah, I'm good. Because I had about an hour nap and then Lo and behold, half hour later, I got, I found a rest stop, so it's good sleep from there. All right, Tim, I got to ask you one question that everybody's going to ask in the comments, and that is, where do you go to the bathroom? <laughs> so there was no hesitation there. <laughs> what you got? This is actually a two in one. See, there's a hole. All you have to do is put a back, a bunch of uh, horse pellet in there and do your business for number two. For number one, <laughs> and then this one is from an old chair, you know those yeah. camping chair that worn out. So I took the piece that left, snapped, <laughs> put it together, and make it into seat cover. Now it functions as a seat. I have a carrier to go when I'm driving. I can get power 12 volt into the inside and convert into a 120 when I'm driving. Be glad to show you. Don't let the vehicle fool you. There's a lot of hidden stuff in here. I just plug in into the camera power. But I can install this in here. And this will go inside into the inverter inside. And make 120 volt. So you got a Toyota Sienna. They're known for lasting forever. Uh, your Sienna has a timing belt? Nope. If you look at it. how You know how you know it's timing belt. Or timing Plastic belt. cover, metal yes. cover. Yeah, this is timing timing chain timing chain and then um how many miles is on it when i got it 93,000 i put 40,000 on it already. have you had any major mechanical issues nope i no. didn't even chain it now any the only thing i chain out is oil transmission oil and engine oil that's it what's the uh the least favorite or worst uh, experience that you've had in your van remember when i was uh go visit the state capital I went to Georgia and I couldn't find parking space. I keep driving around in circle and there's, it's not safe to park there to go see the capital. So I just drove by and just leave. Where did you end up after that? 
Let's just go to another state for the next capital. More party lights? <laughs> you know what they <laughs> Yep, I just used the fairy light. What do you do when it's really cold out? It's actually stay warm in here, very warm. There's no need for heat, heat or anything. And you might wonder why I said semi-build, and that's because we have a very similar setup, but he has a custom bed. The semi-build, it just, you, all you need is a power drill and a jigsaw, that's it. You don't need anything else. To keep myself clean, all I need is this for sponge bath. Just some soap, some hot water. And I use three different towels, one for the face, one for the body, and one for all the crevices. <laughs> so you mentioned earlier you spent 30 years in the Air Force. Yes. Do you want to share a little bit of your experience uh, serving the country? I love it. This is my adopted country, so it's my payback, my way of paying back to my, my new mother country. And I, I was an aircraft mechanic and then become an IT technician for 30 years. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching Tim's semi-build minivan camper conversion tour. If you'd like to find out more about Tim and his build or just watch some of his adventures, check out his channel, Mo Bang Fo Your Buck. Yes. And I'll see you on my next adventure. You're a badass guy. Thank you.